What demand did Casimir Joliet make that landed her the part of Bet? How did auditioning for Shane help Brennan Klost heal from past traumas? And how did Kylie Jefferson almost miss out on an opportunity of a lifetime because of a tight deadline? Hi, I'm Janet. Casimir Joliet. After what felt like years of waiting and excessive binging of the trailer, Netflix's drama series Tiny Pretty Things is finally here. And we cannot stop obsessing over the cast. Especially Casimir, who plays Bet. As one of the show's younger cast members, the 24-year-old actress definitely makes up for her age with experience. In fact, she had the most dance experience out of all of her fellow co-stars. She's been dancing ever since she was three years old, making it kind of unsurprising that she would eventually end up on a hit series centered on dancing. And while it seems she was just as excited as us when she heard about the show, Sitting down with Entertainment Weekly, Juliet shared how she knew she needed to audition for the part from the moment she heard about it. Everybody in LA knew about this project. As soon as I heard about it, I was like, oh my God, I need to audition, said the dancer. But Juliet also shared that it was by far the most extensive audition process that she had ever been through. So what did her audition process include? The professionally trained dancer was expected to submit videos of herself performing an entire ballet class, a point class, contemporary performance, as well as partnering pieces. And while most dancers would have been intimidated by the casting director's demands, Joliet felt ready. Well, sort of. Upon auditioning, Joliet realized that she was afraid of playing the character Bet. I was kind of afraid, honestly, to approach Bet because right off the bat, she doesn't seem like the nicest person. She's kind of a bitch. She's very standoffish, and she's the mean girl at the school, shared the actress. Feeling slightly uncomfortable at the idea of just being a mean girl, Juliet proposed a little rule. She would convince casting directors that while Bet may be the show's mean girl, she still wanted Bet to be likable too. So she would only audition if she could make Bet a little warmer than her original cold demeanor. And producers loved her approach to the character. So much so that it fast-tracked her to the final round of callbacks. But that didn't mean that the doubts wouldn't get the better of the aspiring actress. There's so many blonde ballerinas, so it was really difficult, and they did a three times worldwide search to find the main dancers. But she had nothing to worry about, as the role was clearly hers. And yet, she was surprised to find out what getting the main role would mean. Juliet shares how being part of this series has been the most exhausting experience of her life. She was totally unaware of the fact that she would not only be acting, but would have to perform every single dance routine without stunt doubles. Yep, all of the dancing you're witnessing on the show is the cast actually performing. So while she never knew she was technically signing up for two jobs, acting as well as full-blown dancing, she says that this has been the best experience of her life. And we couldn't be happier for her. Brennan Klost All right, can we just take a moment to appreciate how mesmerizing Brennan Klost is whenever he dances? We just can't get enough. And while we absolutely love watching him portray the role of Shane, did you know that Klost actually auditioned for the role of Oren? Yup. After submitting his 15-minute audition tape for Oren, he later discovered that he wanted to play the role of Shane instead. According to the Juilliard alumni, he felt attached to Shane's storyline, especially given the fact that Klost was badly bullied in school for being a male dancer, and much like Shane, he found comfort in dancing. Klost then begged the show's producers to let him audition for the role of Shane, as this wasn't just the character for him. It was a chance for him to rewrite some of the most painful childhood memories. It was quite cathartic to play Shane, and that someone says the F slur and he punches them out in an alleyway. I wish I had been more like that. I wish I had stood up for myself, shared Klost. It seems that pulling from real-life experiences helped him secure the coveted role, as directors were completely blown away by his performance and how authentic his portrayal of Shane was. And quite frankly, neither could we. It was a clear match made in casting heaven. Kylie Jefferson We think it's safe to say that Kylie was born to play Navia. But did you know that she didn't even want to audition for the Netflix original series? Sitting down with Elite Daily, the 26-year-old dancer mentioned how she just wasn't convinced. I was like, I'm not really an actress, she tells Elite Daily. But then it felt like wherever she went, people were trying to convince her to audition. 
especially her friends, who kept on sending her the audition information until she eventually changed her mind. I was like, look girl, it's time for a new job, so let's see what we can do. And just when we thought convincing the talented dancer to audition for the role would be the difficult part, she discovered that auditioning was where her real challenge would be. Jefferson explained how she struggled to find an open studio to record her audition tape in. And so, Kylie almost gave up on auditioning at all. Then a miracle happened. A random slot opened at 7 p.m. the night before the audition tape deadline, and Kylie immediately booked it. The actress shared how she only had a few hours to nail her audition tape before submitting it. But it seems like there were a few more surprises ahead for Kylie. She had absolutely no idea she was auditioning for the main role. I was not aware that Navia was the main character, Jefferson explained. In the email description for the audition, all it said was that she had to be able to dance, especially ballet, and that she would be on every episode. Given the fact that Kylie had no professional acting experience besides playing an extra on Grey's Anatomy, she was surprised that her drama skills landed her the lead role. But she credits her awesome co-stars and a number of acting coaches for her success on the drama series. Jefferson mentions how they all helped her fine-tune her acting skills so that her portrayal of Navia was perfect. And after binge-watching the first season, it's obvious that Kylie absolutely nailed her performance. Damon J. Gillespie When Damon J. Gillespie auditioned for the role of Caleb, he decided he was going to go in with the strategy. Here's the exact pep talk Damon had with himself just before he pressed the record button on his camera. Think about what you love the hobbies, music, movies, plays, everything that you love. Own it. Use it. Use it for your auditions, character building, your happiness. And it definitely worked. But he still had some reservations about the role and shared how he hadn't taken a ballet class in over four years, so he felt rather intimidated auditioning for the role. But Damon was determined. And so, he put himself through rigorous training beforehand in order to get better prepared. But according to the actor, auditioning for the role was no easy feat. Casting directors had a number of strict rules for their audition process. They expected everyone to be punctual for all callbacks, to have learned every single word of the script, as well as having every dance routine completely memorized. And while many aspiring actors couldn't live up to the casting director's expectations, Damon absolutely loved the challenge. But there was one thing that he didn't love. When auditioning for the role of Caleb, he discovered that acting doesn't pay. Our job as actors doesn't pay. At all. It doesn't matter if it's a series regular or the number one show in the world. It's just another side hustle because it pays the bills, said Damon. So while he may not be earning major money on the series just yet, we know that he is definitely rich in life-changing experiences and memories. Daniela Norman Norman plays the ever-adorable June, a shy dancer raised by a strict mother who doesn't see the value of June doing ballet. And while Norman may see the value of dancing in real life, she didn't realize just how much work would go into auditioning for the Netflix series. Auditioning for the role of June would mean dedicating 13 to 16 hours a day for rehearsals. In fact, making it to the final round meant sometimes only leaving the studio around 3 a.m. But that was just a sacrifice Daniela was willing to make in order to get the role. But even with an impressive resume that includes being professionally trained at the National Ballet, acting alongside a few famous faces in Cats, and appearing in the West End production of An American in Paris, Norman was still nervous. This was a major opportunity for her, and she worried that she might not have been unicorn enough. So what exactly did she mean by unicorn? Well, during the intensive audition process, casting directors mentioned how they hoped that their search would lead them to discover unicorns. This meant finding cast members that were not only exceptional dancers, but individuals that could also act, and act well. So, while Norma may have had her doubts, directors immediately knew that she was definitely a unicorn. And we couldn't agree more. I mean, is there anything that she can't do? You know, besides convince her on-screen mom that she was born to be a dancer. Regardless, one thing is clear about Daniela. She is talented and definitely one to watch. Michael Sue Rosen If we're being completely honest, there are so many things that we love about Rosen. Not only is he super talented, but he totally commands a room whenever he dances. 
So what drew Rose into the role of Nabil, Malaysian-born dancer who just moved to Chicago to attend Archer? His ethnicity. Rosen has often shared how he absolutely hated correcting casting directors who would just assume his ethnicity. And nine times out of ten, they were wrong. I started getting embarrassed about having to correct people, and I realized it was hurting my psyche. So I want to be very clear about who I am, shared Rosen. The 28-year-old classically trained dancer is half Asian and half white, and playing a character of Malaysian descent helped him feel better connected to his background. And seeing that he would also be able to pursue his love for dancing and acting at the same time sealed the deal for Rosen. But did you know that he almost gave up acting? Yes! Even with all of his immense talents, Rosen enrolled at Yale to get away from dance. According to the dancer, he found that pursuing professional dancing kept him from being a normal kid as he missed out on a lot of things that kids his own age were doing, like attending prom. But after two and a half years at Yale, Rosen had a revelation that he wanted to return to the dance studio. And so he decided to officially drop out. And within just a few months, he would land the role of Nabil. What are your thoughts on each of the cast members' journeys to Archer? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.